Now for part seven, calculate the magnitude of the average acceleration between the instance T1 and T5. So average acceleration A1, A5 is delta V over delta T. It is V5 minus V1 over 2 tau. It is equal to uh, V5 is already calculated in this part. And uh, V1 is also calculated in this part. So it is V5 minus V1. They are equal. The acceleration is zero. Also, this is expected. I know we said that you know, as we looked at the uh, successive positions of the puck, we could see that the puck was covering equal distance during equal time intervals. And we expected that this is a URM. And we already know that uh, in URM, there is no acceleration. The acceleration is zero. I know since the speed doesn't change with time, neither does it uh, increase or uh, nor decrease. So calculate the magnitude of the instantaneous acceleration at T2 and T4. Instantaneous acceleration, we have to choose the speed, the instantaneous speed just after the instant T2 and or the one just before to see uh, at what rate did it change, V3 minus V1 over, T, over 2 tau. Also, uh, we obtain 0, A4, V5 minus V3. Also, we obtain A4 equal uh, 0. So the average acceleration and instantaneous accelerations are both uh, equal to zero in URM. Explain why the puck is moving in uniform rectilinear motion. The line joining P0 to P7 is a straight line. So this in the first part uh, justifies why it is rectilinear. The velocity is constant, V equals 0 0.08 meter per second. Okay. And uh, this uh, is showing why it is a uniform motion, and yeah, the speed is uniform, and the acceleration A is zero, then the motion is URM. Give the numerical time equations of this motion. We know that for uh, URM, there is only uh, one time equation that relates the position to the speed. Uh, it is x equal vt plus x zero, v is constant. It is calculated to be 0 0.08, and the initial position x0 is uh, not 0 this time because it is uh, equal to minus 2.4 with respect to the origin. So we plan that x0 equal uh, 2.4 centimeter, uh, uh, centimeter, and v equal 0 0.08 meter per second. x0 must be written as minus. There's a mistake here, so it is minus, not a plus. Calculate the position of the puck at t equal to second c. Hon, we corrected it. X equals 0 0.08 t minus 0 0.024. For t equal two seconds, uh, we substitute for two and uh, having the speed in SI unit and the x zero in SI unit, so x is going to be in SI unit, also, of course, substituting time in SI unit. So X is equal to minus 13.6 centimeter after two uh, seconds.